Welcome to Demented Features. I am your host... Danvers, pay attention. What do you see? Oh, that's chocolate cake. Ooh, two scoops of ice cream on top of brownies. Really? Um, how about this one? Ooh, that's chicken wings with chocolate sauce. Really? Really? Okay, Denver's, I've been very concerned about your health lately. You're going on a diet. Today's feature is Alice, Sweet Alice. With a young Brooke Shields. Enjoy. I'll get it, Mrs. Stradoni. <laughs> it's good to see you. Mommy said you wanted to see me. Oh, did she now? And now, why would I want to see you? You know. Now, did you make a good confession? Oh, yes, Father. Do you have a present for me? Of course I do, in the dining room. Find it? Where? Yeah, some of Mrs. Tredoni's delicious cookies. Are you sure this is my present? Yeah. Alice, why don't you sit there? Oh, thank you, Father. It's all right, sweetheart. Go ahead. Do you know where it is? off your face. Who said you could go wandering around? I thought you had to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, Mrs. Tredoni. You probably frightened her half to death. Now go inside and sit down and try to act like a lady. Tom, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sure she didn't mean any harm. Karen, open your present. We all want to see what it is. Oh, Tom. You shouldn't have. What if she loses it? Who else would I give it to, Kay? 
I love you, Father Tom. I really love you. I know you'll take good care of it. Oh, it's just lovely. I promise you she won't break it. Honey, I have to get to sell us before they close. You want me to get your dress, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Prettiest girl there. I'm 
Mama's little baby's hungry. Well, Mama is. Mama has.
What's she doing? She's got no business up there. I can't take go get her. As I call out your names, kindly take your places in the assigned cars. Mrs. Falco and Andrea. Mrs. Grossi and Mrs. Bruno. show up to find out where the girl was. The mother says she was helping the nuns. Did you talk to any of them? No, not yet. Who's that? Your father. Well, at least he managed to get here before they put her in the ground. Yeah, please, not now. You, but mass begins at nine. Hi, Ellie. 
Alice, sit on the fold-up, make room for your father. I want to stay where I am. Please do what you're told. Annie, please. There is plenty of room. No problem. I can sit on the fold-up. Never mind. I'll sit in the second car. There's room up here, Annie. Move over. Huh? I said... I want you to find out exactly where that girl was. And I'd like to talk to that Alphonse character before they get back from the grave. Let's go. It's such a tragedy. We're not even safe in the church anymore. And that darling little Alice, she's taken in so well. Your husband and I were just saying what a great help she's been to her mother. Hey, you make sure you tell Catherine that she must call me at once if she needs help. Thank you. There's nothing anyone can do. I'll be staying here with my sister for as long as she needs me. Angela, stop eating. Haven't you had enough? Jim, help me clean up this mess. You don't need that drink. I've made arrangements to stay in town for the next few days. So I'll be here for the don't you have to go home? You don't have to stay. I'll be here for a while. And you're only ten minutes away. And Jim and the children need you. Catherine, please. Jim wants me to be here. My Angela can take care of everything at home. Isn't that right, Jim? Beg your pardon? Angela can take care of everything at home. Of course, dear, yes. Okay, I, uh, I know this is a bad time to bring it up, but there's some things we have to talk about. This is no ordinary situation. I know. I just don't know where to start. Is it necessary to have this conversation in front of the children? God damn it, Annie. The child was murdered. But don't you understand what that means? Ask the kids to leave. There's some things I'd like to know. Listen, there's an awful lot of cake left. It's a shame to let it go to waste. Alice, would you bring this down to Mr. Alfonso? And thank him for the lovely flowers. Angela! Robert! Go with her. Don't disappear. Keep the noise down. I heard everyone leave. It's all over, huh? Well, you die and, and they put you in the ground. It's over. Such a shame. Such a pretty girl, too. Too bad she was the one to end up in the box. My mother thought you could do some cake back. Thank your mother for me. Such a lovely lady. <laughs> God always takes the pretty ones. Wow, is he fat? He scares me. Him? Yeah. ugly bastard doesn't scare me. Come on, Alice, let's get out of here before my mother hears you. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean. Stop it! I won't listen to this again. You saw the photographers at the church? The police do investigate a murder, you know. I still don't understand what that has to do with Alice. Everyone knew she was the last one in the church. They want to talk to her. They think she may have seen someone. What if the police find out about the veil? What veil? Jim, what you talking about? She had Karen's veil in her pocket. Christ's sake, she probably found it on the floor. I'm sure you didn't even ask her where she got it. Annie, why'd you have to start this? I think you've gone too far. Shut up, 
I know what I'm doing. Detective Brennan. Take the elevator to the third floor. Make a left. His name's on the door. Open, come in. Yeah. Sorry about the door. I guess you got a lot of questions. Yeah, you're right. I was uh, I was hoping you could tell me something. As a matter of fact, my partner's down in your neighborhood now checking on a few things. Is uh, anything being done to protect Catherine and my daughter? What makes you think you need protection? I don't know. I, I couldn't imagine anyone killing Karen. People do crazy things. Mr. Spade, is, um, do you mind if I talk to Alice? Where's that going to get you? Alice was the last one to go into the church. She might have seen something. Uh, something she knows nothing about. But might set us in the right direction. For example, the, the veil. Exactly where did she find that veil? Ray? Listen, about the veil, it's obvious to me that Alice came in after the murder. I spoke with her. She said she found it on the floor when she came in. Karen must have, must have dropped it during the struggle. Mr. Sparges, how did Alice know it was Karen's veil? They're all alike. They all come from the same store. Alice never said it was Karen's veil. Everyone just assumed it was, in the name of Spages. According to your sister-in-law, Alice said it was Karen's veil always jumping to conclusions, especially where Alice is concerned. Well, your wife didn't disagree with her. Well, my wife's been under a little strain lately. Does her sister-in-law dislike your daughter? It's probably more accurate to say she doesn't like me. Come on. You really think she dislikes you enough to uh, implicate your daughter in a murder? I don't like where this is leading. Y you can just forget about talking to Alice. I spoke to the principal. She's made a repeated request that the kids see a psychiatrist. But for some reason, her requests have been ignored. Come here. Here's the record. See for yourself. This kid is nuts. Right now. Well, he's expecting my call. I, it's very important. I'm sorry, but Father don't like to be disturbed at mealtime. Tell him it's Dominic Spages. Well, if you leave your number, I'll have him call you back. What, well, damn it? Hey, don't raise your voice to me. I don't care who it is. I'm just following the rules. Look, it's very important I speak to Father Tom. Well, if I gave in, every time someone told me that, he'd never eat a meal without interruption. That's okay, Mrs. Trudoni. Sorry, Dom. Uh, I, I told her to put you through when you called, but I, I guess she forgot. Where are you? I'm at the police station. Did they mention anything about the school? No. What about the school? Well, they came and took Alice's records away. I, I couldn't stop. Them. You know, I don't believe those bastards. You know what they're trying to do? Now, take it easy. I know Brennan. He's not that kind of guy. Yeah, well, uh, now he wants to talk to Alice. I want to talk to you alone for a few minutes. I've, I've got some things to tell you, and I haven't had a chance.
I'll be going out for a couple of hours, Mrs. Fredoni. Are you coming home for supper, Father? I... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, and that is precisely why I don't like interrupting at mealtimes. Oh, there is a good reason for everyone. loves you. She only does things for your own good. If you'd listened to her, you wouldn't have dropped the milk. Why is she always right? Catherine, you know, always take her side. That's enough. Aunt Annie is very generous to stay with us, and I don't want to hear any more about not going to school. I know that you miss Karen. So do I. But we both have to get back to our usual lives. Don't you need me here? Of course I need you. And you can help me. But you can't stay out of school. Would you take the rent check down to Mr. Alfonso for me? Don't take too long, love. Your daddy will be here soon. Move over. Alex? Thank you. Did you find the cross? No. I'm sure it was lost to the church. Well, Alice, shall we have it? I've been through her things. Annie, why did you do that? I told you I would ask her, why don't you trust her? I know how important that cross is to you, Kay. I think Alice knows where it is. <laughs> I know you're there, Alice. You can come in. I won't bite you. <laughs> How did you know it was me? I have the rent check. I was going to slide it under the door. Where do you want me to put it? There's so much junk around this filthy place. I bet you never clean it. It smells like cat's piss. 
My aunt says you should be reported to the Board of Health. What's the matter, Fatty? Stuck in a chair? You don't like your aunt, do you? I don't like you. You know why you don't like us. Your aunt and I are two very perceptive people. We know what you did at the church. <laughs> I can't wait to tell your father all I know about you. What the <laughs> hell do you know? Come on, the check. <laughs> Damn it. Look what you've done to this check. Let me go. <laughs> Where are you going? You're not in a rush, are you? I know what you have downstairs. You've been snooping through my things. Your things? They're not your things. Karen will come for them. The dead have ways. The dead don't rest easy. You better let me out. Scream! I'm not going to call the police. <laughs> the police were already here today. And if they come back, I'll take them downstairs. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> no! You pushed up against me once before, you disgusting sloth. You'll never do that again. were so bad at school, Catherine should have been the first to know. I don't understand why you let it go on so long. It wasn't that serious until recently. Anyway, they weren't really sure exactly what should be blamed on Alice. She has a knack of making things look like accidents. Well, I could handle it myself. I used to talk a lot with her, but lately she's set up a barrier.
I'm taking her to St. Michael's office. Stop find Alice. Make sure you find her. doing this to me? Haven't I had enough? Alfonso told the police it was Alice. They're on their way here. Did he see her? Of course not. How could he? He's only repeating what he heard Annie scream. Don't you see people believe what they want to believe? Well, what's important is what the police will think about this. Well, they don't know her. No one knows her like I do. What if Annie tells them what she told me? Well, you just have to wait and see what happens. What are you saying? She was hysterical. She didn't even know me. Annie would never say something like that if she were herself. Catherine, there's Detective Spina. Tom, talk to him. Let me go to Annie. Just give me a minute. Please. Please. Catherine. Annie. Annie, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, Annie. I know you won't do this to me. You didn't realize what you were saying. How could you? You were so upset. Don't turn away like that. What is the matter with you? Have you gone crazy? Am I some kind of stranger? Please, please. I will never forgive you if you do this to me. Never. Never. Excuse me, Father. Get through here. How are you, Mrs. Lorenzi? I won't keep you long. You know, I have to talk to you. I want you to tell me everything that happened. It's Jim. I want Jimmy. Leave her alone. 
I'm her sister. I was there, and I can tell you anything you want to know. I'm sure you can, Mrs. Sponges. And I'm very interested in hearing everything you have to say. But right now, I want to be alone with your sister for a while. Uh, Father, you think you and Mrs. Sponges could leave the room for a minute? I'll be right with you. Annie? Oh, Jimmy! Annie. Annie. What happened? Jim. Oh, Jimmy! Annie, I was so worried. Somebody called and said somebody tried to kill you. Oh, my God, Jimmy, it was awful. She stabbed and stabbed my leg. Who, Annie? Who? Annie, don't. She tried to kill me. Oh, my God, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Annie, shut up. Okay, for Christ's sake, let her talk. All right, what's going on here? She's like my own. I love her, Catherine. You hate her. Because you knew I was pregnant when I got married. That's not true. I love Alice. May God take me dead if I'm lying. Annie, don't. You realize what you're saying? It was Alice. It was Alice. Liar! Liar! You're all liars! I'm not lying! I'm not lying! You want to believe it was her? Why not, Angela? She wasn't in the church. See? You see? Don't you see what they're trying to do? This is Detective Mike Spina. I want to be connected with the Patterson Police Department. Question. Please answer yes or no. Yes. Do you know for sure who stabbed your aunt? No. Did you stab your aunt? No. During your entire life, did you deliberately hurt someone who trusted you? During your entire life, did you deliberately hurt someone who trusted you? I put Debbie's coat in the toilet, if that's what you mean. But I didn't lie. I told the sister I did it. Please, Alice, answer yes or no. Yes. In the suitcase found in the basement were a white dress and a mask. Are they yours? Yes. Are you deliberately withholding any information regarding the attack on your aunt? No. Do you know who stabbed your aunt? No! Do you know who stabbed your aunt? Yes, it was Karen. I told him it was Karen, but no one believed me. It was Karen. All right, Alice, thank you. They're finished. The matron will take you back to my office, and I'll give you the test results of that. What about Alice? I'll bring her back with me. You give me Alice's coat. You need that one.
I don't know what to tell you. Well, for Christ's sake, did she fail or didn't she? Technically, I guess she failed. What do you mean, technically? Well, I asked her if she knew who stabbed her aunt. She lied. She said no. So I asked her again. She said it was her sister. But her sister's dead. Yeah, but she wasn't lying. So what do you want from me? It's obvious the kid is off the wall. I want to book her. If not for the murder, for the stabbing of her aunt. Well, let the psychiatrist give us some answers. She is a weird little girl. Did you notice her tits? When I went to put the tube around her, she looked up at me like she wanted me to feel her up. Hey, the little bitch is dumping your machine. Hey, 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 stop that! Damn you, stop that! Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, for these are gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Why couldn't I stay upstairs? You know I'm not feeling well. Because I can't be running up and down. And tell the children to stay out. What children? You know there's no children in the house. You want me to feed you, or you can manage by yourself? I'm not dead yet. Then eat. Where's my wine? I have only two hands, Monsignore. Father's not coming to lunch. You uh, sure you don't want to come to the shelter with us? No, I don't think that'd be a good idea. She only needs the two of you now. Well, come inside. I'll get you the information you want. That must be Tom now. And everything is ice cold. Cold? No, tell him not to worry. She's a good woman. What are you talking about? You don't make a sense. You didn't eat your lunch. I want my cake now. I'll help you. Now, this is only the order sheet for the codes. I'll, I'll call the Mother Superior and tell her you're on your way. She has the complete list of all the names and addresses of those who purchased one. Angela has one, doesn't she? My Angela. What do you grow for? Well? Alice said she saw Karen in one of those coats. It's obvious she saw someone. Maybe it was Angela. You realize you're doing to Angela what you think Annie is doing to Alice. Well, if it wasn't her, whoever it was might be on this list. Dom. If this lead doesn't work out, how long will you stay around and play detective? I don't know, Tom. I have to stay until the killer is found. And what about Julia? I can't answer that right now. Hey, thanks for the car. I'll drop it off tomorrow. Right? Subject, Alice Pages, 12 years, one month. Normal physical development. Subject represses hostilities toward her mother and estranged father. What do you want? Strong indications of a schizoid personality. Subject is capable of extremely violent action. Come in. Whitman, Mr. and Mrs. Spages are here. Yes. It's a 
down. I uh, had a session with Alice this morning, and I thought perhaps I should talk to you before you see her. Is anything wrong? Well, it's far too soon to be making judgments. As understaffed as we are here, we try to give the children as much time as they would have in private practice. I've diagnosed hundreds of cases exactly like Alice, but to eliminate any possibility of error, one tries to suspend judgment until one can observe as much as you possibly can. Dr. Whitman, I, uh, I think you should know that my attorney is doing everything he possibly can to get Alice back home with her mother. That's exactly what I wanted to warn you against. I don't think you should encourage Alice to believe that she'd be coming home soon. Perhaps being at home with her mother is not the best thing. What does that mean? Be prepared for hostility from Alice. I mean, it's only that she would think that you were responsible for her predicament. You might say that, like all of us, she blames others for her troubles. She is here because of a lot of other people. Alice has many deep-seated problems. But she is not a murderer. Alice needs psychological help. Well, in that case, I assume you'd have no objection to our using our own psychiatrist? Not at all. Would you take the spages down to the playground, please? Let me remind you to be candid about the issue of coming home. Be assured she will get the best possible treatment here. Oh, Mrs. Spages, why did Alice conceal from you the fact that she's begun menstruating? The parents so often don't know their children as well as they presume. How's your room? Why'd you bring the suitcase? Aren't you taking me home? Not until the doctor says you're ready. We met Dr. Whitman. What did you think of her? She said you had a nice talk. What'd you talk about? A lot of things. Like what, Ellie? I told her Aunt Annie lies and that you let her. That's not true. You're just like Aunt Annie and that slob, Alfonso. You want to keep me here. Alice? Now, you're hurting your mother. I don't want you to talk like that. Now, listen. I don't want you to worry. I'm going to find out the truth. How can you? You have to go home to your wife. Honey, I promise. I intend to stay until I find out who was in the hall with your aunt. Come on. I don't want to stay here. Why can't I go home? You heard the judge. You have to stay until the medical tests are completed. Test. She's a psychiatrist. Everyone thinks I'm crazy because I said it was Karen. You don't believe me either. Can you understand that there are two different reasons why you're here? One is because you were in the basement when your aunt was attacked. But I didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. And I'm going to find out who did. I saw Karen. Look, many times we think we see things and later we realize we were wrong. But sometimes it's important to find out why. Dr. Whitman wants you to sign a release form for medication. What does she need that for? Stay here, I'll see what it's about. Would you like to show me your room and I can help you put your things away? I don't want to. I packed your heavy robe Honey. just in case. I didn't put you here, Alice. What's wrong with you? Why won't you talk to me? I'm your mother. I have nothing to talk about. Well, you had plenty to say to Dr. Whitman. Why didn't you tell me you had your period? Why doesn't everybody just leave me alone? Leave you alone? Don't you know that I love you? You're on my mind every minute. Take this. You know it's not mine. 
I thought maybe you might want it now. Well, I don't. I don't play with dolls anymore. I'm sorry. I guess I just keep forgetting how old you are. I'll be back tomorrow. Is there anything you want from home? No, just leave me alone. Don't take this out on me, Alice. I am trying. Her name's on the coat list. Small Karen's coat is. It's a size seven. Angela's would be at least a 14. How could Alice confuse the two of them? It was dark. She was so scared she didn't even recognize me. Tom, I don't know. You don't know. You said yourself no one knew where Angela was. Hello. Hello. I think it was Annie. What does she expect me to do? Forgive her and pretend nothing has happened? I think you should talk to her. Well, I will, when she admits that she lied. Why antagonize her? It can only hurt Alice. I was just ringing your room. You've got a call. What did you take it from here? Hello? Oh, Tom. Who is this? Angela. Angela, what's wrong? Uh, I ran away. I'm hiding. I've got Honey, I can't clothes. hear you. You're going to have to speak louder. I've got Garrett's cross, and Mommy won't let me give it to you. Listen, uh, let me meet you somewhere, and we can talk about it, okay? Oh, you Has Uncle Dom ever done anything to hurt you? No. I I'm leaving right now. Where are you? I'm, I'm in the Ivanhoe building. All right, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Angela, now stop crying, honey. There's nothing to be afraid of.
Angela? You don't have to be afraid of me.
is your last confession as a group. So I want you to think very carefully what you're going to say. But remember, you don't have to tell me everything you've done since last Sunday. After all, we don't want sister to miss her lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and please remember Karen in your prayers. Someone in here. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. We're only hearing the children this morning. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Please, Father, I need confession. Father, please. Please hear me, Father. I'm troubled. I have time. I, I, uh, I lost my temper. I got angry with the Monsignore. No. I neglected my morning prayers. No, this can't be the reason you wanted confession this morning. Oh, no, Father. There is something. Yes? I know you. You're a good woman. It can't be as bad as you think. Oh, I, uh, I, I, I lose patience with the Monsignore. Sometimes I wish, Father, that, oh, I cannot remember when everyone respected him so much. I, I understand. It's not easy to see someone we love suffer. No, you don't understand. Sometimes I think that it would even be better if God... Oh, it is a sin to think such thoughts. No, it's not a sin. You've devoted so much of yourself to us, it's only natural that you should want God to spare us from pain. Yes, Father. You have great faith. It's because of this that you can look forward to death as a resolution. Yes, Father. You know, there's no greater reward than to spend eternity with our Lord. Yes, Father. I only wish you'd come to me sooner about this. Oh, so do I, Father. There's no need to come to confession for this. Oh. When you're upset, come and see me. I I'm your confessor, but I'm, I'm also your friend. Oh, thank you, Father. Bother you, Mrs. Tredoni. Father's not here. No, I'm looking for Mr. Spages. I knew he had to drop Tom's car off. I didn't see him. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm cooking supper. You'll have to excuse me. Tom was supposed to pick me up this morning, and I haven't heard from him. I thought maybe he was with Tom. Well, could I wait for a little while? Suit yourself. Maybe he won't be back so soon. Do you think maybe there could be something wrong with the phone? I tried to call several times this morning. There was no answer. I was out. You can turn on the lights. And there are some magazines.
I made you some coffee. Oh, thank you. It's in the kitchen. Really very nice of you. I didn't mean to put you to any trouble. No drama. Aren't you going to have any? I make it a rule not to have a coffee after breakfast. I know this is silly of me. I really should go home. I don't know why I'm so worried. I, I just can't imagine where he could be. Maybe you were afraid that God will send St. Michael to take another of your loved ones. When St. Michael took my little girl, I only thought of how cruel God was. Mrs. Tredoni, I'm sorry. I never knew you had a little girl. God took her for me the day of her first communion. Don't you see? He waited until then to teach me that children pay for the sins of their parents. And then I was sent here to look after father, not you. Mrs. Tredoni. It's Tom. Tom? Tom? Catherine, what are you doing here? I've been looking for you all afternoon. Where's Tom? There's been an accident. Tom? indication that he knew something, anything. Last time I saw him, I got him a list of the families of board school coats. He was convinced that Alice had confused Karen with somebody else. Because of Annie's attitude, he suspected his niece, Angela. We never did find out where that kid was at the time of the murder. Brennan. Yeah. You won't believe this. I found a cross lodged in his throat. It had to have been worn by the Bit down on it. There are teeth marks all over it. See if it matches the description of the one belonging to Karen's face. <laughs> What will I do about Alice? Let's go get her. There's no need to stay here. I'm not going to tell her just yet. 
She's been without a father for a long time. I'm afraid to take him away from her so soon. Yeah, you're wrong. I think you should tell her. I've lost control of my life, Tom. I... I can't. Death does this to people. Well, haven't I had more than my share? There's no such thing as a share, Catherine. Go back. How come? Let's go home. We'll talk about it later. He didn't even say goodbye. Please don't feel that way. He kept his promise to you. It's because of him you're coming home.
are you doing in there? Say hello to Mr. Alfonso. I'm glad you did that. It was a nice thing to do. Stop by and Danny's on the way to mass. Everything's going to be okay. Father Pat's watching her. Let's go. Wait a minute. 
He's too close to Catherine and Alice. She sees you, there's no telling what she'll do. Now, it's almost time for communion. Come with me into the sacristy. When she comes up to receive, I know I can get her to come with Father Pat and me. What if she doesn't come up? Look, I know her. She'll come. She hasn't missed. I want to have a marksman in the balcony. Not in my church. I can handle her. She wouldn't do anything to me. Okay, Father, we'll play your way. But my men will be covering all the exits. Well, nothing will happen. She'll come. Let's go, Father. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccatum mundi, Domine nansum dignus ut intres sub tectum meum, Domine nansum dignus ut intres sub tectum meum, et sanibator anima mea, Domine nansum dignus ut intres sub tectum meum, sed tantum dec verbo et sanibator anima mea, Domine nansum dignus ut intres sub tectum meum, sed tantum dec verbo et sanibator anima mea. Opus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Castori Dani Mantum Mentum 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 Opus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Castori Dani Mentum 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 Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Castori Tere Mentum in Vitam Eternum Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Castori Tere Mentum in Vitam Eternum Amen. Please come with me, Mrs. Stradoni. They want the communion, Father. I'm sorry, Mrs. Stradoni. I can't give it to you now. I promised the police you'd come with Father Pat and me. But you give it to the Lord!
I hope you've enjoyed today's feature. Join us next time. Hey, Wh Denver's. Keep exercising. Let's go. And one. And two. And one. You know what? Screw this. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute!